Red Fox, born John Elroy Sanford, was a trailblazing comedian and actor who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His career spanned decades, and he is perhaps best known for his role as Fred Sanford in the classic TV show Sanford and Son. Fox was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1922 and grew up in Chicago. He began his career as a comedian in the 1940s, performing in clubs and on the Chitlin Circuit, a series of performance venues throughout the United States that were safe and acceptable for African-American entertainers to perform in during the era of racial segregation. In the 1950s, Fox moved to Las Vegas and became one of the first African-American comedians to play in white nightclubs. He released several successful comedy albums and gained a reputation as a master of blue comedy, a style of humor that is explicit and risque. In the 1970s, Fox made the transition to television with Sanford and Son, a sitcom that was based on the British show Steptoe and Son. The show was a massive hit, and Fox's portrayal of Fred Sanford, a gruff and lovable junk dealer, endeared him to audiences. Fox's success on Sanford and Son led to other acting roles, including a part in the movie Harlem Nights alongside Eddie Murphy. He also continued to perform as a stand-up comedian throughout his career. Fox passed away in 1991, but his legacy lives on. He is remembered as a pioneering comedian who broke down barriers and paved the way for future generations of African-American entertainers. His contributions to the entertainment industry continue to resonate today, and his work continues to be celebrated and enjoyed by audiences of all ages. Hello, in this video we'll be talking about the one and only Red Fox. You might recognize him from his iconic role as Fred Sanford in the classic TV show Sanford and Son. Do you remember the first time you saw Red Fox on screen? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Red Fox had a long and varied career in entertainment and we'll be sharing some interesting facts about his life and career. We'll talk about his early days in stand-up comedy, his groundbreaking work on Sanford and Son, and some of the challenges he faced later in life. We're sure that many of you have your own special memories of Red Fox. Maybe you laughed until you cried at one of his comedy routines, or you had a favorite episode of Sanford and Son that you watched over and over again. We'd love to hear your stories and memories of this classic star. So stay tuned because we have lots of fun, surprising, and even sad facts coming up about Red Fox. You won't want to miss a minute. Red Fox, born John Elroy Sanford, was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1922. His family later moved to Chicago, where he spent his formative years. Fox's mother, Mary Hughes, was a maid, and his father, Fred Sanford, worked as a freight handler. However, Fox never knew his father, who left the family when he was very young. Fox's humor and comedic style were influenced by his upbringing in a poor, predominantly African-American neighborhood. He began performing on street corners as a child, using humor to entertain and distract himself and others from the harsh realities of poverty. Fox's professional career began in the 1940s when he started performing in nightclubs and bars. He adopted the stage name Red Fox in honor of his favorite comedian, Red Skelton. Fox's early comedy was influenced by African-American comedians such as Moms Mabley and Slappy White, as well as white comedians like Bob Hope and Jack Benny. One of Fox's most significant influences was his mentor, comedian, and actor Malcolm Little, also known as Detroit Red. Little introduced Fox to the world of comedy and helped him develop his comedic style. Fox often credited Little with teaching him the art of timing and delivery, which became the hallmark of his comedy. Fox's career took off in the 1950s when he began performing in Las Vegas. He became known for his risque humor and sharp wit, which earned him the nickname the King of the Party Records. Fox's comedy records sold millions of copies, making him one of the most successful comedians of the era. In the 1970s, Fox transitioned to television, starring in the hit sitcom Sanford and Son. The show was a massive success, running for six seasons and cementing Fox's status as a household name. Fox's portrayal of Fred Sanford, a cantankerous junk dealer, earned him critical acclaim and numerous award nominations. Despite his success, Fox remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to perform stand-up comedy throughout his career, inspiring generations of comedians and entertainers. Red Fox passed away in 1991, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most influential comedians in American history. Red Fox is best known for his role in the TV show Sanford and Son, but he also had a notable filmography. He appeared in over 30 films, including Cotton Comes to Harlem and Norman Is That You? For those new to Red Fox's work, Cotton Comes to Harlem is a must-watch. In this film, Fox plays a sly 
and humorous character in a crime caper set in Harlem. Another great option is All the Fine Young Cannibals, where Fox plays a supporting role in this drama about a small town musician with big dreams. Norman Is That You is a comedy film that showcases Fox's comedic timing and wit. He plays a father who discovers his son is gay and sets out to cure him. While the film may not hold up to modern standards, it's still a notable entry in Fox's filmography. Overall, Red Fox's filmography is a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. His performances are sure to entertain and leave a lasting impression. Red Fox, born John Elroy Sanford, discovered his passion for entertaining at a young age. Growing up in St. Louis, he was known for his humor and ability to make people laugh. At the age of 13, he started performing comedy routines on street corners, using a broomstick as a microphone. Later, while working as a shipping clerk in New York City, he began performing in local nightclubs. His big break came in 1955 when he appeared on the television show Chance of a Lifetime, where he won 5000 and the opportunity to perform at the Apollo Theater in Harlem. Fox's pivotal experience came when he opened for famous musicians such as Sammy Davis Jr. and Nat King Cole. He was able to hone his craft and develop his unique style of comedy, which often involved risque humor and sharp observations about everyday life. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout his career, including financial difficulties and a controversial reputation, Fox never lost his passion for performing. He went on to become one of the most successful comedians of his time, known for his groundbreaking role on the television show Sanford and Son. Fox's legacy continues to inspire aspiring comedians and entertainers to this day, reminding us all of the power of humor and the importance of staying true to oneself. Red Fox, born John Elroy Sanford in 1922, became a well-known actor at the age of 49 when he started in the hit TV show Sanford and Son. Before that, he had a brief stint at Du Sable High School in Chicago, where he crossed paths with future mayor of Chicago, Harold Washington. Fox formed close friendships with many celebrities throughout his career, including Della Reese, Luanda Page, Carol O'Connor, Norman Lear, Saul Turtletop, Leroy Daniels, Pat Morita, Nathaniel Taylor, Nancy Culp, Raymond Allen, Whitman Mayo, Hal Williams, Helen Martin, Eddie Murphy, Slappy White, Don Bexley, Gregory Sierra, Noam Pitlick, Alan Drake, and Norma Miller. His friendships and successful career proved that Fox was a likable and talented individual who left a lasting impression on those he met and worked with. Despite not achieving fame until later in life, Red Fox made the most of his opportunities and became a beloved figure in the world of television. Red Fox, born John Elroy Sanford, faced numerous challenges on his path to becoming a successful actor and comedian. Raised in a poor family, he experienced financial struggles early on. To help his family make ends meet, he started working odd jobs at a young age, such as shining shoes and selling newspapers. Fox's dream was to become an entertainer, but the entertainment industry was skeptical of his talent at first. He began his career as a comedian, performing in small clubs and struggling to gain recognition. In the 1950s, he moved to Las Vegas, where he performed in small venues and faced racial discrimination. Despite these obstacles, Fox persisted and continued to hone his craft. One of the creative solutions Fox found to overcome these hurdles was to develop his own unique style of comedy. He drew inspiration from his own life experiences and observations, creating a comedic voice that was both relatable and hilarious. His risque humor and sharp wit quickly gained popularity, and he began to attract larger audiences. In the early 1960s, Fox released a series of comedy albums that became bestsellers. This success helped him to gain national recognition and paved the way for his transition to acting. In 1972, he was cast in the lead role of the groundbreaking sitcom Sanford and Son, which became one of the most popular and enduring television shows of the decade. Throughout his career, Red Fox faced numerous challenges, from financial struggles to industry skepticism. However, his resilience and creative solutions, such as developing his own unique style of comedy, helped him to overcome these obstacles and leave a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Red Fox, known for his role as Fred G. Sanford in the TV show Sanford and Son, had a character with a weak heart. Ironically, when Fox experienced a heart attack in real life, those around him initially thought he was joking, similar to his character's fake heart attacks on the show. Fox's nickname Zorro is Spanish for Fox, which fittingly captures his sly and cunning personality. In Sanford and Son, 
He was often involved with his much younger girlfriend Donna, played by Lynn Hamilton, who was only eight years younger than him in real life. The show's writers incorporated Fox's real-life health issues into the character of Fred Sanford, making it a significant aspect of his personality. Despite the seriousness of the topic, the show managed to balance it with humor, creating a memorable and entertaining character. Red Fox started his career in the 1940s as a comedian, but his breakthrough moment came in the 1970s with the TV show Sanford and Son. This show was a major success and made Fox a household name. It was a groundbreaking project as it was one of the first American sitcoms to feature a predominantly African-American cast. Fox's portrayal of Fred Sanford was critically acclaimed and loved by audiences. His co-star, Demon Wilson, once said, Red was the heart and soul of Sanford and Son. His comedic timing and delivery were unmatched. Critics praised Fox for his ability to make people laugh and for his unique style of humor. His work on Sanford and Son not only brought him recognition, but also paved the way for other African-American comedians and actors in the industry. Red Fox, best known for his role as Fred G. Sanford in the TV show Sanford and Son, walked off the show during the 1973-1974 season due to a salary dispute. His character was written out of the series with the explanation that he had gone to St. Louis for a cousin's funeral. NBC sued Fox, and as part of the settlement, he returned to the show. Fox had only taped a few episodes before his departure, and Whitman Mayo took over as the main character for the remainder of the season. Fox served as a mentor and friend to Demon Wilson, who played Lamont Sanford in Sanford and Son. Wilson appeared in more episodes than Fox, though he did not appear in every episode. Sanford and Son was a successful show, and Fox's portrayal of Fred Sanford remains iconic. His character's catchphrases, such as You Big Dummy and I'm Coming Elizabeth, are still well known today. Fox's performance in the show helped to establish him as a leading man in television and solidified his place in entertainment history. Red Fox, born John Elroy Sanford, was an American actor and comedian best known for his role as Fred Sanford in the TV show Sanford and Son. Fox's approach to his work was unique, marked by his signature comedic style that combined humor, wit, and social commentary. Fox's creative process was deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in a poor neighborhood in St. Louis, Missouri, he drew inspiration from his surroundings and the people he encountered. He often incorporated anecdotes from his own life into his stand-up routines and TV shows, using humor to shed light on serious issues such as poverty, racism, and social inequality. Fox's style was characterized by his use of observational humor, where he would comment on everyday situations and observations in a humorous way. He was also known for his use of provocative language and innuendo, which often pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable at the time. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout his career, including financial difficulties and issues with censorship, Fox remained committed to his artistic vision. He continued to perform and create, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. In summary, Red Fox's unique approach to his work was marked by his use of humor, wit, and social commentary, all of which were deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. His style and approach have left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment, inspiring generations of comedians and actors to come. Red Fox brought the character of Fred G. Sanford to life in the popular 70s TV show Sanford and Son. Interestingly, Fox developed Fred's distinctive wobbly walk due to the heavy shoes he was given at the start of the series. Both Fox and his co-star Whitman Mayo were actually in their 40s during the show's original production, requiring them to wear makeup and hair coloring to portray characters in their 60s. Initially, the producers had considered Cleavon Little for the role of Lamont Sanford, but he turned it down. Little suggested Red Fox for the part of Fred Sanford and Demon Wilson as Lamont, whom he had worked with on All in the Family. The chemistry between Fox and Wilson became a defining factor in the show's success. Red Fox was a significant figure in the entertainment industry, particularly in comedy and acting. He gained fame in the 1960s and 1970s with his raunchy stand-up comedy, which paved the way for future comedians to explore more mature and controversial topics. Fox was also a trailblazer for African-American comedians, breaking racial barriers and stereotypes with his bold and unapologetic humor. In 1975, Fox landed the lead role in the groundbreaking TV show Sanford and Son, which became one of the most popular and influential sitcoms of the 1970s.
The show tackled serious social issues while maintaining a lighthearted and comedic tone, which was a novel approach at the time. Fox's portrayal of Fred Sanford was both hilarious and heartfelt, and his chemistry with co-star Demon Wilson was undeniable. Fox's impact on the entertainment industry can still be felt today. Many comedians and actors, such as Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, and Jamie Foxx, have cited him as a major influence and inspiration. His bold and unapologetic approach to comedy and acting has inspired countless others to push the boundaries and challenge the status quo. Industry experts and critics have praised Fox for his contributions to the entertainment industry. In a 2012 interview with the LA Times, actor and comedian Chris Rock stated, Red Fox was one of the greatest comedians of all time. He broke down so many barriers for black comedians and actors. Director and producer Stan Lathan added, Red Fox was a pioneer. He changed the game for black comedians and opened the door for a new generation of talent. In conclusion, Red Fox was a trailblazer and a true icon in the entertainment industry. His contributions to comedy and acting have left a lasting impact and continue to inspire and influence future generations of talent. Red Fox, known for his role as Fred G. Sanford in the sitcom Sanford and Son, had a unique approach to handling financial difficulties. When in debt, he would inform the show's producers that he was ill and needed to make more money to recover, leading to him being written into episodes to boost his income. In 1975, Fox was scheduled for a stand-up act in Las Vegas, but when he saw a small audience, he stormed off the stage. Initially, the network was hesitant to cast Fox due to his blue comedian background. However, a test screening was organized with CBS executives and the cast of All in the Family. The screen test featured Fred's fake heart attack gag, which ultimately convinced the network to greenlight the show and demonstrated the potential of a black-led cast. Despite these successes, Fox's career was marked by financial ups and downs, and his onstage behavior could be unpredictable. Red Fox, the talented actor known for his role in the sitcom Sanford, and son had a rich personal life that informed his work and values. Fox's humble beginnings in St. Louis, Missouri shaped his sense of humor and his perspective on life. He began his career as a comedian, drawing on his own experiences to create relatable and entertaining performances. Fox was a devoted family man and his love for his family was evident in his work. He often incorporated his family into his comedy routines and used his platform to advocate for issues that affected them. Fox was also a passionate supporter of civil rights and used his influence to speak out against discrimination and inequality. In addition to his work in entertainment, Fox was involved in several philanthropic efforts. He was a generous supporter of the NAACP and used his platform to raise awareness about important social issues. Fox also donated his time and resources to various charitable organizations, including the United Negro College Fund and the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Fox's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work. He believed in using his platform to make a positive impact on the world and was committed to advocating for social justice and equality. Fox's legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day, and his philanthropic efforts serve as a testament to his dedication to making the world a better place. Red Fox, best known for his role as Fred G. Sanford in the TV show Sanford and Son, was born in St. Louis, Missouri, the same place where his character Fred hailed from. Fox's generosity was one of his defining traits, and he named the character of Fred Sanford in honor of his brother. Many of the actors and character names in Sanford and Son were inspired by people who had an impact on Fox's life. Fox was a big fan of the 1930s vocal group The Ink Spots and often sang their songs on the show. However, the rights to use their music were expensive and NBC refused to buy them. Determined to include the music he loved, Fox paid for the rights out of his own pocket. Fox's admiration for The Ink Spots was just one example of his passion for music. He often incorporated his love for music into his comedy routines and performances. Despite facing financial difficulties throughout his career, Fox's generosity and love for music never wavered. Red Fox was a trailblazing actor and comedian best known for his role in the sitcom Sanford and Son. His legacy includes breaking racial barriers and introducing a new style of comedy that tackle real-life issues with humor. Fox's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today as his work continues to inspire aspiring professionals. For those looking to follow in his footsteps, Fox would likely offer the following advice first and foremost, always stay true to yourself and your voice.
Don't be afraid to take risks and push boundaries as this is how you will truly stand out and make your mark. Additionally, be prepared to work hard and put in the time and effort required to hone your craft. Finally, remember that success is not always about the destination, but rather the journey and the relationships you build along the way. As for the future, Fox would likely encourage aspiring professionals to embrace new technologies and platforms, but always with a focus on creating high-quality, meaningful work. He would remind us that while the industry may change, the importance of storytelling and connecting with audiences remains constant. In short, Red Fox's legacy is one of innovation, perseverance, and a deep commitment to his craft. His advice for aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves, work hard, and never stop learning and growing. The future of the entertainment industry is bright, and there is always room for new voices and perspectives. Red Fox is best known for his role as Fred G. Sanford in the popular 70s TV show Sanford and Son. Interestingly, the character's name was inspired by Fox's own brother. Before the show's debuts, Fox appeared on Flip, another NBC show, on January 13, 1972. During the filming of Sanford and Son's 1974 season, Fox demanded a salary increase from NBC. Unable to reach an agreement, Fox left the show for the remainder of the season. As a result, the producers had to create episodes centered around his absence, with Fred Sanford supposedly attending his cousin's funeral in St. Louis. Ironically, this season turned out to be the show's highest rated one. Red Fox was a trailblazing comedian, an actor who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Born in 1922, Fox grew up in a tough neighborhood in St. Louis, but he found solace in comedy and performing. After serving in the military during World War II, Fox moved to New York City to pursue a career in entertainment. Fox's raw, irreverent humor quickly made him a favorite on the club circuit. He released several successful comedy albums and even starred in his own television show, Sanford and Son, which became one of the most popular sitcoms of the 1970s. Fox's portrayal of Fred Sanford was both hilarious and heartfelt, and his chemistry with co-star Demon Wilson was undeniable. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his career, including racism and financial difficulties, Fox never lost his passion for performing. He continued to work in television, film, and theater until his death in 1991. Fox's legacy is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. He proved that even in the face of adversity, it is possible to succeed and make a lasting impact on the world. His innovative approach to comedy and his unforgettable performances continue to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. In the end, Red Fox's journey is a reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a little bit of humor, anyone can leave their mark on history. His story is a celebration of the human spirit and the power of creativity to bring people together and bring about positive change. Let's take a moment to talk about the incredible Red Fox. He was an actor who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. With his unique style and undeniable talent, he brought joy and laughter to many. Red Fox was best known for his role in the TV show Sanford and Son, where he played the character Fred Sanford. His performance was so impressive that it earned him several Emmy nominations. Fox's work was not limited to just one show. He had a long and successful career that spanned over four decades. He appeared in numerous TV shows, movies, and comedy albums. His stand-up comedy was particularly popular and helped him gain a massive following. Red Fox's legacy continues to live on, and his work remains relevant even today. His unique sense of humor and undeniable talent have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. We would love to hear your thoughts on Red Fox's work and legacy. What did you enjoy most about his performances? Did you have a favorite TV show or movie that he appeared in? Share your memories and thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this article, please give it a like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's continue to honor and celebrate the legacy of Red Fox and other talented actors who have left their mark on the entertainment industry.